Today, we're releasing one of the coolest features in Raycast from the last few months. A few weeks ago, we put out a brand new version of the AI chat with a whole new interface, which I said was going to be an important structural step that allows us to develop on it even faster. To iterate on it even faster. Then, most recently, we added support for a bunch of different AI models, which you can use in the chat, in AI commands, or in quick AI. This opens up a lot of possibilities and gives our pro users the best LLMs around for each specific task. And today, we're releasing the ability to create, save, and most importantly, share AI chat presets. This is something that's been requested for a while, and rightfully so, because it makes AI chat more powerful and more user-friendly than ever before. Now, I don't want to overhype it or anything. I know that I can easily get into this mood of hyping things up. This is actually a very small thing. But what I like about it is that it represents a lot of what Raycast stands for. It helps you stay in the flow. You can create and customize your AI chat for your specific needs. And the cool thing is you can share them with others, helping them improve their workflow as well. So let's dive into how you can integrate chat presets in your daily activities with a couple of real life examples. Before we start though, just some very quick housekeeping. If you've been using Raycast for a while, you've probably never had to update Raycast. And yet, it's always up to date. That's because since the very beginning, Raycast has an auto update feature. So you always get the latest updates with the latest enhancements and features. However, since version 1.69 and 1.70, there was a bug in this auto update feature. So chances are you're stuck in those versions. The good news is that it's very easy to update. All you have to do is search for the check for updates command, and then you can manually update Raycast. So if you could do that right now, that would be greatly appreciated. Now this bug has been fixed, so chances are you're never gonna have to do this again. Presets are really easy to create and you can do it right from the AI chat popover that you're already familiar with. From there, you can set your creativity, the model, system instructions, and you can create a preset based on this combination of settings. You can then start a new chat from a preset. You can look at this little arrow here in the AI chat window, or you can search for presets using the search AI chat presets command. And from there, you can browse the presets that you're after. You can export a preset, but what you can also do that's very cool, you can share this preset with friends. We created a new Ray.so Explorer for you to browse presets and get inspired. But we'll talk a little bit more about that later in the video. The Writing Coach is an amazing preset that helps you improve your writing. Now, as far as I'm aware, this is one of the main reasons a lot of people use AI. So this preset can serve as a basis for you to customize further. And using the system prompt field, you can tweak it to better suit your needs. But the good thing is, is that it gives you a great head start. Now for this preset, we're using GPT 3.5 Turbo, mainly because it's super fast. We set the creativity level to low, but depending on the type of writing that you're doing, you might want to change that. And finally, this preset doesn't need to search the web, so we're going to leave it off for this one. This is a React expert preset. So if you're writing code using React, this can be super handy for you. This is the perfect candidate for our advanced models like GPT-4 Turbo. The creativity is low because we want to prioritize accuracy. You can also tweak the prompt to ask for more instructions or not, depending on your level of expertise. And you can even change the framework. In this case, it's React. But if you're writing code in Vue, then you can change it to Vue. As with others, enabling web search is your choice. I think for this one, it's useful to leave it on because then you can use the latest data as its knowledge source. You can explore these presets I've just shown you and a lot more on presets.ray.so. 
We created this project because then it gives you a head start. You can browse presets that you find interesting and you can add them to Raycast directly from this website. And the cool thing is you can share presets with others by copying the URL. And this is an open source project. I'll put a link to the GitHub project below. But if you're a prompt master, you now have the power to help us all. I hope you're as excited as I am for this feature. I'm going to be on the lookout for some cool presets that you create and share them on my Twitter. And I might even integrate them in my own workflow. Make sure to subscribe for more videos like this and to stay up to date with all of our releases.